18, 19. Big trees right in front of our house. It's a low traffic street, quiet. Seems like pretty nice area. Neighbors are well kept. Driveway needs a lot of work, has a bunch of cracking, and it turns into gravel about halfway up. <laughs> Foundation looks good for the most part, as well as the siding. No damage visible. Has central air. Here's a unit. It's an older unit. The ductwork looks okay though. It's a backyard. Yeah, I just jumped that fence. Good sized backyard but most of it's taken up by this big cinder block garage which has multiple cracks and damage in it the roof looks pretty good but there's just all kinds of structural cracks and then this shed is in too bad a condition neighbors behind us are well kept The roof, I see multiple spots where there's damaged shingles. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera. Inside, there's no visible damage of any kind of leaking. Garage door, I need a new one and an opener. The driveway does go all the way back, but like I said, it turns into gravel at a certain point. Siding on this side looks good. A little deck on, out of the upstairs and then the side door entrance that goes into the kitchen. And long driveway. Foundation over here looks good. Walkway is a little messed up. Front stairs, pretty sturdy. Just need some paint, probably, as well as the deck. It's nice and sturdy. <coughs> A little bit of rep small repairs. Excuse me. It's already on the market. We. Yeah, we would buy it and uh, just shape it up a little bit and sell it. Thank you. Through the front door. It's a living area. It's all stucco. There's very little drywall. Has a nice open layout. This is living. I guess you lay a good design, uh, set it up in a couple different ways. The dining over here and then the kitchen. Nice big open area though. All the windows are in pretty good shape. Vinyl. This trim right here doesn't match the rest of the house. I noticed some, uh, some of the other trim in the house is pretty messed up. 
The kitchen here. I'm missing a cabinet there. Otherwise, they're in decent shape. I'd probably say that. I don't know. I don't know. We can maybe reuse them. And this off of the kitchen is just a pantry area and then basement access. Straight back on the main level. Full bathroom, first thing to your left. It's like 10 feet long and 5 feet wide. Nice big bathroom. You don't want to see that. Oh yeah. Um, copper's still there. Plumbing looks alright. Uh, no tile. And the bathroom's actually drywalled. And then there's two bedrooms back here. This is the bigger of the two. Small closet. Stucco walls and plaster. And textured ceilings. And then this is a pretty small bedroom with a big closet. Textured ceilings and stucco on the walls. So upstairs first. That's it for the downstairs or the main level. Which first I'll show you. This is the little porch. Which is actually I stood on it. It's pretty sturdy. Needs small repairs. And upstairs, as soon as you walk up, it's an open area. Ceilings are um, nice and tall up here. Uh, after this open area, there's two bedrooms. One here, which the ceilings flat all through this bedroom. Textured. The walls are drywall in pretty good shape. Actually, yeah, they're drywall and in pretty good shape. Ceilings textured. And then this has a real big closet. It slants down over there, though. Second bedroom across the hall. Notice the ceilings are torn out. There is little water damage noticeable around the chimney. And maybe that's why all this drywall's down too. The roof, like I said, there wasn't, there, yeah, I saw a couple damage spots and I think it needs a new roof. And then, Notice how it slants down the teeniest bit just at the end here. Otherwise, it's, the ceilings are comfortably high. This is a nice size bedroom. And then the full bath up here is nice and big. It's kind of a triangle shaped. So it needs new everything. T no tile. Walls are stucco actually up here. I thought it was drywall, but it's actually not. Yeah, not drywall. The basement just six three all the way through. So, short basement, lots of space down here. It's 
think this is under the porch and here. Which all that's back here is exit and electric panel, which all the wires are cut. 100 amp panel that looks in decent shape though. That doesn't look right. Ductwork looks okay. It's been there is a sump pump over here, but old style. I'd say it has to be rewaterproofed, and a toilet was plumbed in there at one point. HVAC system, like I said, the unit's old, ductwork looks pretty good. Plumbing I thought was alright, but now it's a really old hot water heater. It's all copper coming off of it, but I just seen uh, two pipes cut right here. So it's copper plumbing, but they're definitely need some repairs in some places and there's also a different color wood right there lighter wood so they've obviously replaced or yeah fixed some things that right there doesn't look good it's rotting as well as this over here Um, yeah, it's not all over the place like that though. Most of the joists look pretty good. I think that's it. Like I said, it's 6 3 all through the house. And or all through the basement, so not finishable.